Hello. It's been a minute. My windshield wipers are on. <laughs> I'm in the car. Michael just ran inside to grab food. We are headed down the shore to celebrate Nanny's birthday this weekend, but it's going to be super rainy. Everyone's real sad about it, but I'm not that sad. Do you know why? Because that means I will be knitting all weekend. I like when it's sunny too, but I'm very excited for an indoor, maybe catch some movies, relaxed weekend. I'm finishing up my sweater, sweater, my Alpen Glow on the second sleeve. Um, and Michael, could you grab my needles? What needles? That are in that, my green tote, my needle case. So I'm finishing that up and I'm about to pause it. Um, instead of changing my needles, which I just want to say, um, and I'm going to start my Chiago yeah. in, in my green tote. green tote. Um, I'm going to start a swatch. Ooh. I got, sorry, this is my buoy base and it's in my nose now. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll look in a second. Um, I'm going to start a new design with new yarn colorways from my box of donut collections. I'm so excited. I wound up my Boston cream on sunfish and custard on Surrey. And I'm just really, really excited about this sweater, but I'm testing out a new really loose gauge with a DK weight, which I don't normally do. So I'm going to test a US eight and see if I like that fabric. Thank you, Michael. Can you grab my, my, no. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Okay. I love how this is working out. Boston cream and custard on Surrey. And they're both in my new um, Halloween project bag from Snickle and Mr. B, who's Amber Robson. This bag is so good. I immediately put yarn is it part yarn in it when I got it. So this is Boston cream. And this is custard. They look so good together. And I know they would look amazing alone. I had a really hard time choosing colors. I feel like this whole collection, the tonals and the main colors look so good together and so many of the tonals go with so many of the other variegated and I almost want to see all of them separate because they're so good but I can't make that many things so I think I'm going to be doing a lot with this yarn. I'm really really excited about this and I love this gauge. It's airy, gauzy but like full enough that I wouldn't want to wear a shirt underneath it. So this is the gauge with the US 8. Look what I have. It looks so good. Sleeves done. It's gonna block out. Nice and long. I have both sleeves done. And I already finished. I'll take you over there to show you what I finished today. It was like crab or something. Today in the movies. Okay, where do we go? I finished this. 
four inch, one by one. And now I'm working on the front. Oh, you want the business? Filming a vlog. I need to fix that. Drop down and fix that. I'm watching Andrew Mary. And they're playing. Oh, canasta. If you all know canasta, you know what that means. I'm making charms. And when you don't have all your materials, you have to get creative. So, hang on. Charms. And this random plastic stick to balance the hangers so the charms don't hit each other. I'd say my genius is showing. Good morning. It's now Saturday, October 8th. I have not vlogged since the beginning of the week because I ran out of yarn for my top. I haven't got a chance to re-dye yarn because I displaced a rib and I was in pain for a few days, but got that all straightened out and I am back. In the meantime, I cast on um, a new project that's a sample, I guess. I'm realizing I'm making all of my samples with two yarns held double, so you're not really seeing each individual colorway. But I'm making an Oslo hat with Sophia's Choice and Too Good to Eat. So I've been working on that, but I'm ready to get back to my sweater design, so I have some yarn soaking just to dye one pan up for me, <laughs> for that yarn to finish my sample. I have to make some charms today. I have a few packages to pack. I have a few orders, I guess I should say, to pack. I have um, a bunch of finished, one, two, three, four finished objects to block that need to, they've been waiting. So, busy day ahead, pictures to take, super excited. And we got some pretty fun things going on, so figured I would take you along. Okay, we have Alpenglow, Beachcomber Tank with a ruffle, and my Scrappy plumpy shawl. <laughs> Ran out of room here. It's giant. So I did this with DK instead of sport. And I might have used more yarn. No, I did the big size. I don't think I used more yarn than I needed to, but I used more colors than I needed to. So most of these are leftovers from my Sandy Cheeks Comfort Fade Cardi Kit and then some other Prongs. Um, I think the s'mores and don't forget the rum and then birthday suit at the end. But I really love it. So productive. Lots of blocking yarn dyed for my sweater. Very excited about that. It's beautiful. Charms photographed all of here. Photos, final photos. You will have seen all of those colors. Charms are finished. Photos are taken. Reels are done. I'm just going to hang a mirror. Um, which is the last like home thing to do today. And then get showered and dressed. And go have some fun.
maybe get some knitting in. Hopefully. I am working on my after the storm top. I think that's what this one is going to be called. I'm looking. I bound off for this shoulder and three needle bind off this shoulder. And now I'm working on the neckline. I'm so excited about this. Like so excited. Um, I think it's gonna grow a bit with blocking at this gauge, which I'm also really excited about. I'm gonna do just maybe another half an inch on the neck. This is like two inches. So if I do three inches to match this right here, I think that'll be really nice. I'm obsessed with this and I am on a mission to finish this by Rhinebeck, which means neck tonight, sleeve one tomorrow on Tuesday, sleeve two on Wednesday. And I'm not sure if I'm doing any sleeve decreasing or just a straight sleeve. I like the idea of a straight sleeve, but then do we do so much ribbing? I don't know. I'm not sure. That will 
it'll take the longest to figure out, but I'm so excited about this. I wanted to show it to everyone. Now that I have this top situation figured out. We're in the car. I am on the last few rows of the sleeve ribbing. Then I'm going to Kitchener this and soak it tonight and block it. Because, Michael, where are we going? We're going to Rhinebeck. We're going to Rhinebeck. Um, so I think my design vlog is just going to turn into a vlogtober, all the fun things in October vlog. What do you say, Michael? Vlogtober. Vlogtober. Do we tell the people what we're doing or should we wait until a later point? Oh, point. Okay, you heard it here, folks. You'll find out eventually. And for now, let's finish this bad boy and get it ready for Rhinebeck. <gasps> Rocco! Hi! Hi, puppy boy! Hi! 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 Oh, the man himself. I felt worse. She's almost dry. She grew a bunch, which is what she was supposed to do. And Rocco's eating. So excited. So excited for this one. I did it, y'all. Rocco. Do you know what day it is today? Do you know where I'm going? I'm going to Rhinebeck. Do you want to go to Rhinebeck? Rocco, do you want to see the sheep? Do you want to see the yarn? Do you want to see the sheep? Okay, you're getting ready to go to Rhinebeck? Rocco, what are you wearing today? Anything knitted? No, Rocco's got nothing knitted on. I'm wearing my twisted T skirt. It's pretty nice out. And I have a shawl. Michael, what are you wearing? Got some socks on. Got some socks? Let's see them, let's see them. Ooh, what is that? What are those? Know. Couldn't tell you. Oh, what? Come on. I don't know, they're green socks. They're knitted by you. Come on, come in. You look so cute and nitty. Let's see your socks. Rocco, you gotta get some knitting. We made it. <laughs> okay, so exciting. Where do we go? Where do we go first? I don't know. <gasps> Look who we found! Look who we found! I can't even now. Look who we found! <laughs>
We just got to our room. It's great. Tell the people what we've done today. Um, walked around. Where are we? Yeah, tell oh, them where we're at Ryan back. But what's today called? Woolen folk. We're at Woolen folk. Ryan Beck's technically the home. We're at Woolen folk, and we walked around, got to meet some friends, um, hung out with some friends, um, drank some beer. Shout out to Sunny for uh, treating me and Kent. Um, mm -hmm. Michael's like a celebrity. Everyone knows him. Well, I know. <laughs> um, so we just got to our room. Really cool, really cool spot. It's got a record player and pff, Kate Bush. Yeah, come on. They've treated us. <laughs> so we're going to hang out, unpack, I mean, unpack, like put our rags down. I don't know, hang out. And then go maybe, maybe go back outside, meet some friends, maybe go sit on the porch right there. How cute is that? So cool. And we have dinner plans tonight, which is very exciting with some friends. So maybe you'll see that in a bit. I found. Oh, oh, hi. Look who I found. Hello. Look what she's wearing. Look at her. This old thing? Torsa. Her body. My arms are so short. You got such good arms to take uh, yeah. videos of. I know. <laughs> they go on for days. Yeah. Just found her. Exactly. She was just sitting here on the side of the road. So sad. Oh. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> no, he didn't want to do it with me. Why? <laughs> Anymore, but... <laughs> oh, is that what you're doing? These are supported spindles. These are. Oh, she's this has been around for a while. Uh, other people have made these before too, but they're basically just glass tip as opposed to what would be just you know wood. And so, what do you do with it? Supported spindles are used to bake yarn, like this drop spindle wood. Mm -hmm. um, they're basically a lot of times these are used for spinning twine yarns that are short staple type of thing, okay. like uh, lace weight. Like uh -huh. lace, yeah, basically lace weight or fine lace weight, um, but like a. Um, well, it's like, Bakuna or you know, some of the exotic fibers okay. out there, or you know, any it really uh -huh. anything. It's good wool and all that. But it's meant to spin very fine because you're just basically spinning ah. off the tip of this, you. and you're spinning off the. Tip. So give me a moment. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, this is not for long. This is not a long draw preparation. And by the way, let me. Now the idea is to not run out of arm. Because otherwise I'm going to wind on the rest of my arm. Uh -huh. Some people don't, you don't, may not want to stretch out that far because you may get tired more, but uh -huh. it's up to you personal inclination how you want to do it. Ken and I checking in here at the Army Colgate game. It is 28 to 10 at half, baby.
Rollers. How cool. Is that a Rolag? Is that what that's called? I'm telling you, I'm, it's, I'm dangerously close to spinning. I feel that way every time I come. <laughs> right? Dangerously close. <laughs> I like no... Look who I found. Hi. Friends, we found new friends. We found new friends. Look at the leaves. This is like, a, look how amazing. All of the Alpenglows, all of the Andrew Marys, everyone and their mom is wearing one. Oh, that one's so fun, like Halloween-y. Yeah, everyone, I lost Natalie. Let's see, I'll be back. See if we could find some great alpinglas. So many, so many colors. Older Andrew Mary patterns. <laughs> Look what we have. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I love the pop of color. That's so cute. And the hill is pretty much empty. Just a few stragglers hanging out. They're announcing shops are closed. So we'll pack it up. There's still a bunch of people here. And we'll be back tomorrow. So much fun. Okay, we've been in traffic for like 45 minutes. He's a savior. And Ian, Amy's husband, just got out of the car. He said, Amy, get in. I'm directing traffic. And he is literally in the middle of the road. And now, so here we go. Can you see him? Everybody needs to cheer for Ian. Look at this. So sad for the cars behind us, because then they're going to be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else needs to do this. Woo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just got to the restaurant. Ooh, it is not Duffy's, but we need to find the boys. Finding the boys. Because I can't imagine, like, I'm not a Cowboys fan, if I can say that now. <laughs> but outside of the Dallas show, but three we pieces found of here.
lava. <laughs> okay, introduce yourself. Who are you? Uh, my name's Kat. I'm Mr. Nitty Natty. Mr. Nitty Natty. And Go excuse me, who are you? I can't see you because there's a light. Can you go over there, please, sir? I am uh, Michael. Michael Calzola. Michael! Okay, tell me about your Rhinebeck sweater. Michael? My Rhinebeck sweater? Yeah, tell me about what you make for Rhinebeck. It's green and everybody's a liar. <laughs> you can really tell the difference between your hat and your shirt. Well, obviously, right I'm wearing an army hat now. Okay. This is the hat in question. Oh, and you these, can see the difference in all three colors these the today. Exact, these are the exact same color. Worn. Okay, you're going to see Everybody's this. lying Okay, to so me. tell me about your Rhinebeck get, sweater. Get in the comments. These are the same colors. <laughs> is this? Get in the comments. <laughs> okay, is this the same color? Yes, it is. Get yes in the comments. No, <laughs> Defend me. Okay, tell us about your Rhinebeck sweater, people. Oh my God, I'm wearing Andrea Mowry. Wait, wearing is this the, is this the nurture? This is the nurture. This is the nurture. Andrea Mowry. Okay, and you, sir, what are you wearing? I'm wearing one of my own also designs. Also, Andrea Mowry. One of your own designs. That's, a that's actually a knit, that's actually a, that's the a maker. That's the one. Up and glow one. No, two is the men's sweater. Ow. I'm sorry, I was actually mad. <laughs> what, what are you not wearing socks? Uh, oh, no, I am. I think. He didn't even fucking know. Boot cut. There you go. That's a hey, nice sock. Your house. Like, yeah. actually, it's your house. It's itty bitty. Yeah. yeah suck it on the okay. Okay, oh, no. so we're going home. Tell us what you did today. Tell we us how you spent we, your day. We, we went to a football game. Tell us about your acquisitions. Uh, here's the actual acquisition <laughs> is that we watched the United States Military Academy. Have 407 yards of offense. If y'all don't know this, football field is 100 yards. <laughs> Texas accent coming out. 407 yards of offense. They never threw the ball. There wasn't a single passing yard. It was all running. Even if you care about football, it's stupid, and I hate it. Go Army. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful day. Are you excited for Ryan back tomorrow? I can't wait for Ryan back tomorrow. What are I you going to get? Been... Are you looking for anything in particular? I, I actually am. So, here. Watch this. I do got we, it. There's Lord of the Ring yarn. Irrelevant. Lord of the Rings I'm, I'm, I'm yarn, Michael. Lord of the Rings. Do you want a hat? I know so you have to pick I, a skein. So I wanted, I wanted I'm yarn. Something yeah. Called, like my precious. To match my hat. Your this hat. No, That'll to match, match this hat. So I got the green, the yellow green. Okay. By the way, uh -huh. this face. Okay. This way. But I wanted black. These are friends. I don't care. I, don't want I wanted black. black. I wanted pure black to match it. Okay. But look how good this is. The green, yeah. right though. Yeah. Perfect. It. I don't know about perfect. Uh, from Cake Yarn. Okay, from Cake Yarn. They're awesome. Cake Cake Wool Co. Actually, my bad. Cake okay. Wool Co. But the green is pretty close. Wow. Okay. I'm going to get black. My wife's going to make me a hat because I don't know how to knit. Wow, that's amazing. You want a fun fact? What? I arm knitted her a scarf once. That's amazing. Hold that's on, amazing. Hold on, like this. Wow. Craziness. That's amazing. Did Michael, yeah. are you looking for any acquisitions for tomorrow? Oh, I heard something about Lord of the Rings. Oh, hold on. Big fan. Gonna so maybe look for something there. Okay. Uh, Mike, we have to go. Okay. Okay, so tell Natalie, what are you your plans for tomorrow? Signed up for the military. I'm, I'm I my... can't really see you. I have to go over there here. Was, there was one point where I was pretty sure I... Uh, yeah. what is it? Are you going to tell her I about your Rhinebeck sweater? I'm pretty sure I enlisted today. <laughs> they asked for my email. Like, they, so, so me, You're uh, too old. You know the town that said go army. They asked my name and my email. I'm like, yep. I'm in. Okay, <laughs> tell I'm her. In. You tell her about your Rhinebeck sweater. Uh, my sweater is nurtured by. Who's it by, Michael? Who's it by? No, I hate her. Why? Don't not don't She was nice today. No. We start. We start. Okay. This is the <laughs> Alpha Glow again. Two. Yeah. Not the Alpha Glow One. I thought you said it was the nurtured. Nurtured. Yeah. This is the nurtured. Yeah. Boys version. Boys version. And look at this. I I knit, I knit it. Yeah. To match my hat, and it's a perfect match. Really. Interesting. A perfect match. Interesting. The little <laughs> nitty. You have to introduce yourself, and you have to say, introduce your podcast. Hello, folks. Little Nitty. <laughs> half of Little Nitty? Yeah, this, is, this is one half of Little Nitty. <laughs> Are you going to tell them what you're drinking? That's normally what people do. Oh, uh, no. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to try and figure that out. <laughs> what, what about the other half of Little Nitty? You want to be in it? Yeah. I can't. I, but I can't show you what I'm doing. Yeah, you it's, can't. It's, it's exclusive. It's a secret from the other half. But it'll sure. be out by the time. No, I can't even. I can't even show you. Who okay. Knows? It's a can of something. So which one's a little Go and which Army one's the nitty. nitty? Or are you both little nitty? Uh, I'm little. He's nitty. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. All right, so Are you going to tell us? the stuff that I didn't buy today, but I was told that I probably should show you guys. So, first we have some deeply, deeply penetrating recovery bombs. <laughs> Utopia Bath Limited. That's a sex thing. Yeah. <laughs> Use this on your hands. Good, good on you. Yeah. <laughs> Sheep's lanolin. Honey almond. It's the flavor getting, or the scent. It's getting more out. inappropriate as you go. Yeah, honestly. The more, the more adjectives you add, the worse it is. <laughs> this is by uh, Megs and Co. And Where are they out of? This is... Uh, I'm helping. I know this. This is, um, <coughs> now where, where's the stuff? We fell in love in October. What's it look like? You can't really see it, What's so you have to. It? it is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. This is a four ply fingering weight. Ooh, fingering what do you weight. think of it? How does what it? What do I think of it? It's, I mean, it's. Describe the color. It's just lovely. Um, there seems to be some, I mean, I'm going to butcher this, but it's like reds and maybe some like oranges, like, uh, purple speckles maybe, and, or maybe that's navy blue. I don't know. Um, I need a camera again on me. It's actually important. Get in the comments. <laughs> what, color, what color is my shirt? It's act, obviously the black's there. But beyond that, what color? Oh, get in the comments. <laughs> tag, tag whoever. Oh, I, tag. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure everything. to tag little Nitty. Tag little Nitty. <laughs> tag Nitty. Tag little. There's gonna be someone actually. You can actually tag on Instagram. What, co on Instagram. what color is this? You. Here's our fire person. Oh you may like, not want to be is, on the internet. This is a better man than us. I'll just show your hands. It went out so fast. <laughs> I tried to save it. Okay. I did, I did what I could. What else can, do we have, Michael? Can we have a lighter and like a gallon I have a lighter. of gasoline? <laughs> oh, you have a lighter? I have a lighter, yes. Okay, okay. It we didn't work, this? clearly. He was he was forging for wood. I was trying. I was trying to find like little kindling. <laughs> what are you doing in there? I wouldn't know what to do. Around for when, I, when I went camping last year, it's like I, I had I built a really nice looking like, fire and I, I don't know how to turn it on. It's like, well, this sucks. All right, what else do we have? Where did the fire go? Oh, it died. Got... Oh, it's going. We've got... Uh. Oh, man. Got one of these complicated bags. Do you know uh, who that's from? Heather, beautiful sister. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you hold it in front of your mouth, then we can't hear you. Well, do you need a beer? It's um. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> got plenty it, of wine at home. There we go. <laughs> Just love a beer I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to manipulate this bag. I missed the demo. <laughs> it's. I mean. <laughs> what colors? It's not. You can't really see colors, so you have to kind of. Say it. Yeah, it's like um, it. it. I mean, there's like a rainbow and sunshine pattern. It's clouds slash mountains. Out. Um, we're looking at something like, I don't know, like beiges and maybe tan. Um, there's like, um, I don't know if that's black or navy blue. Okay. It's great. Okay. Did you say ham? Tan, I think. <laughs> Did you say ham? Oh, no. Fire tan. starters make it real good. <laughs> it was a fire uh, this is a uh, tough fire starter. Oh, yeah. Handmade soap. Tough. When we first opened, tough we didn't these fire starters. It was a hassle to light a fire. <laughs> I, would, I, was, I don't know. <laughs> I, I like I did so much like YouTube research. for like, you. I built the little <laughs> tower with the wood. I let, I let <sighs> oxygen go behind it. I was so proud of myself. Thank you. It's a problem, not a problem. What we got here is sassafras. Shout out to sassafras. Is, is, is it like is her charms? charms. Um, the wood. Yeah, Very good. Okay. Make it start like that. Um. Look <laughs> for ignorance on this. I think that's. If there's just what about the bag? Find someone else. Oh. <laughs> I'll be gone right away. The, the bag itself. This dude is TikToks now. Oh, it looks actually really nice with the fire. You can see it now. <laughs> By uh, Krista Jackal. You can't. You're covering your mouth. Krista Jackal. Is cool. <laughs> um, so we have. I don't know what color this is. This is like a. I mean, it could be. A, Camel, caramel, maybe. Caramel. Are we gonna do Caramel. 
We've got polka What color is that, inside. Kent? Is that the color of your hat? No, that's it's like mud color. It's like red. <laughs> mud color. Um, yeah, I red. think you are colorblind, actually. He is. He is colorblind. Oh, actually. What is it? <laughs> it's like literally the color of mud. No, it's like, I don't know, it's like, it's, it's almost like khaki. It's not khaki, it's like gold. It's like, sure. <laughs> it's a deeper color. I think caramel's good. Caramel. Yeah, okay. Or yeah. Camel? Yeah, I said camel what? too. No, candy. No, that's your wrong. Bottom, the bottom. The bottom. Though, I'm aware of that. <laughs> it's like a, yeah, it's literally like, red. It's like a camel. <laughs> it's like a camel. Are you red, blue, color, black? No, it's red. Red, green? No, it's red. I think you can be red. He said, he said, red, green, or are you? I'm, like I'm, color, okay. I'm color weak, I think, when I color blind. Okay. That's literally red, though. And then we have different, these are all hand stamped, one of a kind. We got a fire going in. And uh, they so are? I think that well, we got this bag. Yeah, we would like to hope so. Any of the other ones. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, and if we call you again, you're gonna drink a beer with us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not a you should uh, not give those to Ken. Thank you so much. No problem, Appreciate guys. it. Thanks you as well. Oh, so good. Um, we Michael's leave? talking about this bag for eight minutes. I don't know what else to say about it. Okay. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. So what are we doing tomorrow? Let me see it. Tomorrow. Mm. Michael, you mean that? Michael. <laughs> Michael? Okay, just watch by the fire, people. And I don't know what's in this bag. Oh, that's maybe. like color is beautiful now where you're holding it. What do you got in here? This okay. is orange. Is this a cookie? Orange. It's a cookie. Orange. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's Red. like no. Reddish, red brown. Like yellow brown. No, it's your face is it's... wrong. This is literally <laughs> the color of mud. I've also mud? never seen mud that color. He's talking about clay. I was about to say, he's talking clay. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> mud. Texas. Yeah. Well, wow, look yeah. at this fire yeah. now. Gray, white, mud. Okay, y'all are, oh, your, your first podcast was a little too long. I think we're going to have to cut it off. <laughs> no, you don't even know Lil Nitty. Or Lil Nitty, Nitty, come back for episode two. <clears throat> we're going to do, we're going to do. Drop your album, your EP. And, uh. You didn't even talk about what beer you're having, neither of you, so you're not going to do it's beer. It's illegal. He said I could. <laughs> yeah, it's not allowed. Now I came back to bed that I didn't make. Vacation is wonderful. And I'm going to snip my ends that I wove in the other day. Michael's outside enjoying the view. So I'm going to do this quickly and then go join him. We are just walking over to our friend's cabin for a little fire pit and coffee before riding back. Anything else, you, anything you'd like to say, Michael? No, got nothing. You all talked out after last night? Yeah, <clears throat> said my piece. Are you excited today? It's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. You're gonna buy so much yarn? might buy the place out.
Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? What's his name? This is Alfredo. Alfredo. Do you love him? It's like a dog. It's like a dog wrapped in a thick sock. Pick a number between one and five. Pick a number. Pick a number. Oh, he already said that. Come on, try another one. How old are you? Four. Close. Pick a number. Pick a number. You got it. Whoa! Right there, we went to the other Tell group. us about the sprouts. Yeah, so good. <laughs> Where'd you lose, Ken? Hmm? And... Oh. Why'd you get mac and cheese? Oh. I see. o'clock on Sunday. I am so tired. I'm losing my voice. I don't even know if I could eat dinner. I just need to go to bed. So I think I'll close out this vlog tomorrow maybe. Show you, I only got a few things, but show you fully the four or five things that I bought this weekend and sign off then. But for now, I'm going to bed. I hope your weekend was as amazing as mine was because I don't want to go back to the real world tomorrow. It was so lovely meeting every single person. Um, like, every single person. So, so amazing. I don't want to wait another year to do that again. Okay. Night. Okay. It is now Thursday afternoon. It has been a few days since we're on back. And I feel like this week has flown by. I'm still just getting over everything that's happened. 
And before I started to edit the vlog, I figured you might actually want to see the things I've gotten since Michael's review was wonderful and you couldn't really see anything by the campfire. So I just wanted to pop on for a few minutes and show you what I brought home with me. So the first thing I have everything housed in my Krista Jackal, 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 that's the logo, there you go. Um, this is amazing. We actually all got one, so myself and Natalie of Nitty Natty and our friend Amy. I think Amy also got a bag, right Michael? Right. <laughs> um, so she's an amazing maker. She actually creates these stamps, like carves them by hand, stamps the fabric, and then makes these bags. And they have this awesome waxed canvas bottom. So they have this like mustardy car caramel, I think is a good color. My sweater's kind of mustardy. So caramel bottom, the coolest print. And it has this strap. I really like this. I'm not, zipper bags are not my favorite. And it has little kid trinkles. Ruler and the, as a zipper pull. That's so cute. Um, zipper bags are not my favorite, but I really like this one because I had this strap. So I could knit. If I don't have a strap on my bag anymore, I find that I don't use them as much. You'll also see that I didn't get that much yarn. This was the year of bags, apparently for me. So this amazing project bag, I have a bunch of stuff in here and I think it's gonna be perfect for like any project. I got this at Wool and Folk too on Friday. It was the first purchase I made. <laughs> when I did my initial walk around just to see what was there, they were all one of a kind and she said, if you don't get it now, it might be gone. So. Then we were walking around, we went back to our rooms. Um, you've probably seen this in the vlog already. We went back to Woolen Folk and I picked up from Beautiful Sister, who are, is an actual sister duo who makes bags and they are amazing. Their fabric is amazing, their construction is amazing. Look at this bag. Can you tell I have a color palette? Um, the booths where we bought these from were laughing because I was getting all these earth tones and these muted neutrals. Natalie was picking these pinks and Amy had her palette. It was just like really funny. You could tell. We like what we like. But this bag is so cool. I'm not going to be able to do a good demonstration of it. So it has this loop. So you could put it over your arm, probably this way actually, and knit with everything in your bag. You can, let's see, there's a pocket in here too. I don't know if I had realized that. You see in there? Oh yeah, look at that pocket. Um, so you can tuck this in to the top, tie it, and then it becomes a little like bag that you can put inside another bag. Um, you can fold it open and leave it like a bowl on the table. Let's see. I did something like this um, and then it stays open there are just so many ways to use this bag I really love the fabric I actually saw someone walking around with this bag and I loved it and I went to the booth and I saw they had one in different colors it was pretty it was like these but like pinks and purples instead of these like teals and blues and then I saw one of the sisters with this bag on her arm and I was like do you have another one and she found this for me, and I'm so excited. So those were the two things I purchased at Woolen Folk. And then as we were walking around, um, I met up with Laura. Murphy made crochet. Her and some of her coworkers from Mother Knitter in New Jersey had driven up for the day, and we're walking around through the booths. Oh, I did buy some other things at Woolen Folk. We'll see those next. We're walking around, and I found this yarn dyer who I've never heard of before. But all of her colors are beautiful, but I saw this and I was like, I picked it up and then I was squishing it and I was smelling it and I was touching it and I said, okay, I can't put this down. I think that means it has to come home with me. So this is from Megs and Co. Oh, there's a glare. Sorry. Megs and Co. Classic Sock is the sock base and it is a 75-25. Four ply, 460 yards. It's so soft and it smells so good. 
And this is the Rhinebeck. Okay, look at that. That's perfect. That's literally what it looks like. This is called We Fell in Love in October. I love this. Um, I was thinking socks, but I feel like this could be a really great hat. So maybe a muscle burrow. I haven't made one yet, but it's so good. I really, really love this. So that was my first yarn purchase and actually my only yarn purchase for myself the whole weekend. This was also a Woolen Folk purchase. Um, then when we were there, we stopped by a Studio 614. Let's see. They gave me a little stitch marker. Can you see it? Oh, 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 oh. 614 Knit Studio. Oh, I just painted my nails today. They look great. Um, and they are located in Ohio, which is really cool. That's their card. 614 Knit Studio. And they had some custom tuft woolen scents. Mm, and I had to get it. It was so good. It's called Wool Sniffer, first of all, which pulled me in. But it's lemon and mint, right, Michael? Yeah. There's a little bit of rosemary. Lemon, mint, and a hint of rosemary, which I love because I don't like rosemary that much. But I wish you all could smell this. So I got the hand bomb, which is super cool. You could see their logos on there. And this. Wool wash bar because now that I have new bags, I need new wool wash bars. I'm gonna need more. But I really love those. Also at Woolen Folk. And then the last thing I got at Woolen Folk was for my friend at Sassafras Knits because I needed some more charms. I thought I had actually, this is so funny, I don't know if she's gonna watch this. I had lost um, one charm of hers that I love that was different from a few of the sets that I have that are mostly blues and greens. It was like this tan and it was bigger and it was perfect for a beginning of round marker. I thought I lost it. I was so upset. I found it. So excited. I found it in a pocket in a project bag. But I'm glad I didn't find it until after I bought these because I told her what I was looking for. I said I want some like red, some earthy tones, something that would contrast some of the blues that I already have. She found me this, and I love it. So beautiful. So, super excited to use these. I haven't used anything yet, beside the hand bombs, because I didn't want to get them ruined. Um, and then, that is all, oh, 614 Studio gave me this little dog darning needle, so cute. Um, so that's what I got at Woolen Folk. Then the next day, we went to Rhinebeck at the fairgrounds and I didn't buy anything there on the first day the second that night we went to dinner um which you've seen all of this and we went into a yarn studio that is so cool a new yarn shop that is going to be a yarn and wine bar and I got this deeply penetrating recovery bomb by Utopia Bath Limited sheep's lanolin honey almond I was <laughs> giving this to you to smell smell it it is, I love almond. I think it's my favorite scent. Maybe that's what, oh, maybe I'm going to look on Tuft Woolens and get some almond things from her. Um, but it's this really cool bar. It, like, cranks up when you need it and then cranks down. Just put some on your hands. Super great. I have really dry hands. I get really bad eczema. Um, so this is perfect for that. And the cap screws right on. And that's what it looks like, Utopia. So perfect. That's what it looks like. I didn't buy anything else at day one. However, at day two, we bought a few things, and Michael is the one who spent more money than I did. So let me get his haul and show you what we got. Okay, I grabbed Michael. So on day two... I had told Michael there was a yarn booth that had lots of Lord of the Ring inspired yarn, which he was super excited about. So we took him there and he spent, he got more yarn than I did all weekend. You want to talk about it? So um, he picked out, <clears throat> said pick out a color that you want and we have two. Okay. So I saw this one. Mm-hmm. Really nice colors. 
a lot tell of colors them. I like. Tell them what, who the booth is. Uh, the booth is uh, Bumblebee Acre Fiber Farm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> <laughs> and this is their bubble sock base. There you go. There it is. All right. Um, honestly, I, I like the colors, but it's called uh, Fool of a Took. And uh, it's just a funny scene. I don't know. He's it, immediately like I saw the colors. She nailed them for like the scene that it was. You know, if you watch the movies with me, but she won't. Um, but yeah, just great scene. It they nailed it with the uh, with the colors. Um, they're in like as far as I can. If it's the scene I'm thinking of, he probably gets that a lot. But um, sitting inside like a mine, and there's like a little bit of like some like sunlight shining through this tiny window. Uh, it's kind of like a blue light. And I think that's why there's the blue in there. Okay. Um, and then the browns are like the clothing he's got on and stuff like that. The white is probably, or the grayish is uh, Gandalf's clothing. Okay. And the bubble sock base is an 80% superwash well, merino, 20% silk, two ply. It's so soft. I know he wants socks, and silk is very strong, so I, I could make hat. socks, but one of these needs to be a hat, because this is so soft. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you this want one. two hats? I no, you want socks. Yeah. This <laughs> okay. one for a hat, this one for socks. Okay, All so then you can tell him about that one. Same place, same base. Um, this one is like some like gray. There might be like a little bit of... No, I guess there's no black in here. It's just like really dark reds and a lighter red. Um, and this one's called Urukai. This is a, for those of you who don't watch this, it's um, it's like the bad guys. And this is just like the color of their skin, essentially. They're like really dark red and like their armor is like a black gray. Um, okay. But yeah, that's basically what they, that's basically what their skin color is, is like that, just mixed together. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I saw that and immediately was like, yo. So this is going to be socks? That'll be socks. And this is going to be a hat? Yeah. Even though I, you have so many grayish hats? Yeah, this but This will match like, your coat very well. Mm -hmm. but, well, yeah, that'll match some stuff. Like, I don't wear a lot of things that, like, the red would... I mean, I wear black a lot, so... <laughs> okay. So, Michael got two skeins of yarn. So I was pretty excited. Now he's got to learn to knit them. Looks like I'll be shipping them out to one of you guys to knit me a couple items. <laughs> what did Ken, Ken say? Get put in the comments. Get, get in the comments. Com get in the comments. <laughs> um, cool. So we got this yarn. What else? Then we went into the food tent, which you probably saw some videos of. And we bought a lemon drop mix from a local distillery. Do you want me to go get those things? No, that's okay. We can just talk about it. Do you remember the name of the distillery? Okay, yeah, why don't I grab it? No. So, the one we got was from Hudson Cocktail Company. You have to cover your face, Michael. Otherwise, I won't focus. <laughs> um, and this is a, an, a very local distillery. It's lemon drop, vodka, lemon juice, orange peel, cane sugar, all natural ingredients, shake, pour over ice, and partake. Oh, look at all the yeah, lemon sediment. sediment. It was delicious. I really, really liked it. Mm -hmm. um, it says three servings in here. This seems pretty big. <laughs> but we brought this one home. Try hard enough. You can make a one. <laughs> Do not recommend. We also got a big bucket. Bucket? A quart of pickles. Full sour pickles are very sour. They're so Dude good. put so many pickles I in there. I want one right now, maybe. After this. And then we got... You want to talk about this? Um, so this stuff is like glutwein or like the, the German like war wine that you like heat up. Um, but it's uh, glug, 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 glug. I think that's what it is, glug. Uh, so it's like the uh, the Swedish version. Um, this is it. So you like? I think she's. I think she said it was like like brandy and it's then brandy like fruits and spices. Yeah. Um, but you like take this, you put it in a little pot and you heat it up and then serve it like that. And she said it was like a, uh, old school tradition. It is very Nordic spicy, tradition. very spicy. Really good. 
uh, like before I drank it, the spices were in my nose. Um, I, I didn't like glute vine. Granted, I was also like young when I had it. Um, but this, I enjoyed. It was, uh, it was, it was pretty tasty. Heather, that's the name of the company. Mm -hmm. Did we get anything else there? No, we looked at some like beef jerkies and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that was it. Cool. So, not a crazy haul. I feel pretty good about what I got. I only got something if I really loved it. I'm glad that I got some bags. Feel like a worthwhile investment because I'm going to have them forever and not just like to use one time. And the yarns that I got, I really love. Um, overall, it was such an amazing weekend. We're definitely already thinking about next year and maybe having more time next year because I think that was just the hardest part. Like, I wish we had more time yeah. to do things, to have fun, to hang out. Yeah. Right? It's a great time. Yeah. And it's also a beautiful time of year to be there. So nice. It's like, I grew up in the north, northeast. Midwest, Ohio. Um, so, like, I've seen all the leaves changing colors and stuff like that, but like being up there surrounded by the woods and like all the different things, like, it's different. It's, it's a different feel. And like, just when you're like driving, like, Ohio, very flat, not a lot of mountains. Um, so, like, yeah, you're like in it, but like when you get like a view going up a hill or something like that and you just see the vast colors, it's, uh, it's an experience for sure. Yeah. Sure. So next year we'll definitely do it. Anything you want to do differently next year? Mm, I don't know. There's a few more breweries in the area. Mm -hmm. We only went to one, Newberg Brewing. Shout out to them. Good spot. Yeah. So maybe if we have more time next year, then we have more downtime to do things like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, if you haven't watched already, Nitty Natty has a vlog. Uh, we did a lot of stuff together this weekend that I think we both have some really fun footage. So go ahead over to her channel and watch her vlog. Um, what? Little Nitty. <laughs> and look out soon for a new collaboration. <laughs> Not with me. <laughs> Little Nitty. They'll have seen that already. Yeah. Because this will be at the end. Okay. So we'll sign off. Anything right. else? No, that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching.